Hey guys, Sarah here with Glitchfeed at RTX again, and I'm hanging out with the Couch App boys. I have Brett and Alex here. Hey guys. What's Thanks up? For hanging out. Hello. Hey. hey. How's your RTX been so far? <clears throat> it's been eventful. Eventful. <laughs> I mean, it's been like two days so far, but it's pretty fun We're doing um, an interview right now. So that's cool. Yeah. That yeah. is accurate. Yeah. It's something, yeah. It sounds like you guys have a little bit of party girl voice like I do, so. <laughs> yeah, a little you know, bit. struggling a little bit. Well, he's like, <laughs> it's like chilling over here right now, yeah. so I don't know. I guess you're more relaxed. Taking like a more relaxed approach to this interview. You I can feel like back. you're on edge a little bit. I mean, like, I mean you How's that? you're more of the face of the channel, so you have to present yourself. Yeah, what's up, guys? Couch up here. That's good. This <laughs> is the new thing. <laughs> That's cool. You want us to zoom in too, just just on your face? Oh yeah, sure. There you go. There you go. That's perfect. Good. That'll be really perfect. good. Perfect. Really Great. So, um, you guys are a new channel. It's only been actually three months. We just hit the three month anniversary. April yeah. first, from what I saw. Yeah. Yeah, I think a quarter way through April is when we started being like full time channel. Yeah. So about three months. Yeah. Yeah. So for those who don't know, what what is Couch Chop? <laughs> I know. Big big question. <laughs> Elevator um, speech. Well, just cat. It's like a, a show that you would see, like maybe like three a.m. on mm -hmm. an MTV or or Adult Swim. It's yeah. not kid friendly content. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty weird, uh, for the most part. But I'm not sure how how would you describe it from from your perspective. I think it's you know at the risk of sounding you know whatever like yeah it's like liquid television kind of for youtube maybe you know in those veins a little adult swimmy a little you know some stuff that seems familiar you know you approach like you know gaming content on youtube but then also this other world that's sort of steeped in some a certain level of creativity we try to bring to it so yeah like that <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. So, I mean, I was kind of reading into it, looking into it. You talked a lot about kind of finding your rhythm, kind of moving through that. Have you guys found that yet? Or are you still in that exploratory stage of testing the waters, trying out new shows, seeing what fits? Yeah, I mean, uh, a lot of the times, like, we just come up with ideas and whatever sticks the most, we usually turn into a show. Um, but yeah, all the time. I mean, a lot of that has to do with like how much crazy things can we do and get away with. <laughs> Usually the line is, well, if the video is age restricted, obviously like a large majority of people can't see it, but we still end up doing things that we know are going to get age restricted anyway. So right now there's no lines. So there's a lot of room to explore mm -hmm. doing weird stuff. So. And for people who aren't like familiar with the channel, it's sort of, you know, a lot of the creative brainchild of Alex and James, you know, they're sort of leading that they, they've had a lot of ideas that they've wanted to do for a long time that are finally have like a, an outlet and like, a, you know, the capacity to do them in the way that they've wanted to do them. Um, so a lot of, you know, big stuff flows down from them. And then a lot of it also is just like things we don't expect or anticipate, like sort of the imp improvisational nature of the channel or like stuff with like Trevor and things like that, where it's like, you know. Sometimes stuff just happens. So. Right, just a lot of public disturbances <laughs> and, of again, what can we get away with? Yeah, Yeah, it seems like you guys also like to do a lot of, like, strap on a costume and just stick around and see what happens. That seems like your, your yeah, main that's, idea. That's been our, our shtick since we started doing streams a few years ago. Mm -hmm. We would just try to have, like, themed streams on Twitch where we would dress up in costume when a new game comes out and just do something crazy with it. Now that we have a, a channel just solely dedicated to that, dressing up in costumes is a little bit more intricate than just sitting in front of a computer it's now like okay let's go outside and climb into a sewage den or <laughs> just uh prank some people i guess not like extreme but just like social experiment wise what can uh what kind of reaction can we inside of people being in costumes and playing video games and like on a meta level, I guess there's just so much competition, you know, from people. Did you trained. use the word meta? I did. No, you just said, I, oh, I yeah. heard that. We got a recording. That was like real casual. The way. You <laughs> <laughs> just dropped sorry. It. Just yeah. It sorry. I just. <laughs> but look, I mean, like, I think there's a lot of competition and people trying to, you know, do things in, you know, the gaming sphere or whatever. And I think you, there's no way you can approach it except from a level where you're trying to do something that's at, at least more creative than the stuff mm -hmm. you've seen if, if possible at least trying to push it into new territory and you know it's it's hard to aim for because it you know you're trying to do above and beyond but like i think that's at least our expectations on ourselves so that we're always going to try and at least push our own expectations for like you know what the maybe the easier route might be or the the safer route might be so that's really deep <laughs> yeah. wow. the answer is I'm, I'm getting yeah. a, little, a little blown away <laughs> by Yeah, he's him. done this before. He's, he's done a few of these. <laughs> I've had mania training. Hello. Oh, oh there you go. <laughs> no, I'm just so what, I mean, obviously, your sounds very experimental still. Is that you yeah. kind of are just sitting down like, let's just, let's just do this. Is there mm -hmm. actually, do you have big plans moving forward? Like you're still going to try new things, keep moving forward and tackling new things? <laughs> or are you kind of settling now? 
Um, no, we. Never. I don't. I don't. Never. I don't like settle. I, settle. Settles too. Yeah. I don't like yeah. the word settle. Yeah. Uh, Never settle. No, because like with, whenever we film a show or anything, and it it hits a certain threshold, like we always feel like we have to do above last episode. Mm-hmm. Like if the first episode was crazy, like how can we top the second episode? The only time we set a like we're, we settle is when uh, we just know that we can't beat whatever we just did, at least not right now. So when yeah. we make room for it, we'll try to up the last Andy, but uh, yeah, it's, it's experimental, I guess, throughout, throughout the whole thing. Yeah, and that's and that's not something that's like steeped in ego or anything. If anything, it's more of like a neurotic sense where like everyone attached Dude, this channel. Dude, you like this. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's true though, but like it's a like humans the Thoris right now. Like. <laughs> <laughs> but like everyone associated with this channel spends a lot of time like going through analytics. Mm-hmm. You know, like we follow trends. Like we are avid consumers of other content on YouTube. So it's like. I'd like to say, you know, we try to be as much of the current state of things as possible as far as the information that we've got coming in Mm -hmm. so that we can, like, okay, make informed decisions going forward. So there's a lot of, like, analyzation of all that stuff, and I think that's a big part of it, too. I think that's why he's here is because, like, (laughs) analytics and stuff, like, I mean, that's obviously part of being a a channel, but, like, we we don't really want to look at that stuff every single day and and figure out the ups and downs or just do the things you want to do and just see what people like at the end of the day. But you're probably more steeped in the culture than anybody on this channel (laughs) as far as just like, you're always watching, you're always inputting new stuff and saying like, okay, well this person's done this. So like, how can we at least, you know, beat those expectations for whatever the next step of that would be. But I mean like the stuff we do, we don't really even know if it's going (laughs) to relate well. Cause like (laughs) we're part of the, well, like the rooster teeth family um but we feel like some of the stuff we do isn't really directly related to what they're used to mm-hmm. i mean we had michael and jeff out for a few episodes of our shows and right. even then they they adapted like really quickly obviously being that they've done this for years but you could tell that right away when we brought out like a body bag jeff was kind of awkwarded out by it i think and i mean michael had a great time doing whatever we were doing on our youtube thing but yeah for the most part, I feel like we don't really fit in all the time. That's always because we're trying to just step it up and see what crazy things we can pull off. And it is fun to, like, actually get reactions out of, like, veterans. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. like, you can actually, like, <laughs> yeah. somehow push the bar enough to even have a reaction. Like, that's that's satisfying on, like, a creative level, I think. So, like, you know, that's fun. Yeah, definitely. And it seems like, I mean, like you said, you're part of the Let's Play multi-channel type thing. You've, you've done some collaborations with people coming out, Funhouse as well. You've done a few competitions. Is that something that you really look forward to doing moving forward, just kind of taking advantage of that and throwing people into what is Cow Shop and seeing what happens? It's definitely fun. Um, yeah, the Funhouse guys, were they were fun to uh, do videos with. In fact, we just talked to them again, trying to see if we can maybe set something up going forward. Um, but yeah, definitely collaborative stuff with people that we know and think would be really good with mm-hmm. what we're doing. Definitely. Yeah. It's like a difficult balance starting off too, where it's like, you know, in a lot of ways we're establishing like the tone of our own thing and stuff. And so it's like, well, we're coming in at this from the approach where it's like, oh, this should be a collaborative thing. Let's, let's play family, whatever. Mm-hmm. And obviously we do want to do that, but there's also like sort of that balance of like making sure we're, we're, we're building the groundwork for like what Couch Hop is on its own. Right. So that you know, ideally those collaborations are more meaningful anyway, right? It's like, cool, here's the baseline, and then, like, let's see let's see the chemicals mix with other, you know, properties and stuff. So. Definitely. I like this couch. Though. I, I just want to say, point that out. Yeah, this, this, just like, I, I saw you lounging earlier, and yeah. I just, you know. Just throw nice, some paint on nice it and couch. take it with you. No one will know. <laughs> yeah, we could we'll do load that. it up. We could turn this into a couch. Yeah, our couch that we have, the, the customized couch op couch, is yeah. completely ruined. It's been through so much. <laughs> it has so many liquids and blood stains and just knife stabs in it now. It's almost unrecognizable so you might guys, have to look into something like this for the future yeah i mean uh, so i just want to confirm you're only renting the cow trap house right yeah no Are like you, we think, <laughs> you think you're gonna get the deposit back like is that coming back definitely or? not i mean <laughs> i mean maybe like because we we fix up the stuff we break over time like oh windows out like we might get someone to fix it but for the most part i think there's too many holes in the walls and dents and stuff that the landlord probably mm-hmm. isn't going to be happy with you can replace doors it's yeah, fine. we can we replace have doors. yeah we've replaced the door we yeah. have replaced one. Well, that was interesting. Although the next door, we have a door downstairs that needs replacing now, too, because it has axe holes in it. So, Probably I'm most nervous about all the R- RTX exposure is just that, like, the tenuous, like, okay, is, is this going to reach out to him now? Like, he, more attention? That, I don't think he really cares. 
And no. I feel I do feel like it's within our ability to replace everything we've done, but like, you know. Yeah, I don't think he cares. I think he thinks he got the steel cuz like <laughs> he was like, "Oh, you know, there's there's stains in the kitchen. There's like there's some dents here I didn't in the finish painting the living room." Yeah, it, it's as is, guys, just letting you know and we're like, "Oh yeah, no. That's fine. The house is great." <laughs> So he's probably going home like, yes, got those guys. Little does he know that his backyard is dead and his doors are missing. We examined a lot, a lot of different options before we found this house, too. I pitched a church at one point. There was like an abandoned church we could have rented. Yeah, we could have had a cow church. Because hmm. somebody brought up Colt, so that would have been, <laughs> <that would've> been <laughs> perfect for yeah. that. Yeah, A lot of weird warehouse space, but I, I do think we landed with like the right choice. At the if end. we it move, though, out. I think like... I don't know. I think warehouse space would be cool, but like the house has been great. The only thing that sucks is the neighbors because <laughs> oh, they're yeah. always seeing stuff, you know. And they want to have like normal lives. Yeah, with their families. it's like that's a cul de sac like with like families. So that's. <laughs> yeah, is there a line that's going to cross us when they call the cops? Is that when you know you've gone too far? Or is that just far oh, enough? No way. You just got to go far. Because people have been called, like, had the cops call them for dumber things, like just. Yeah. D- domestic disturbances and stuff yeah. like that. I mean, somebody yeah. yelling, but Actually, like people on the roof screaming about like stink yeah. So bombs the roof thing, I, I feel like the roof thing was when they should have called the cops. Yeah. Like, listen, there are people on the roof of this house next door, and yeah. they're screaming and yelling. I think someone might have fallen off, but they're agitated about something. I don't know. <laughs> they're really upset. Right, but they haven't called yet. Which which really means that either like a we're really good and we can keep going, or b we have to like do more until yeah. the cops are show up because if the cops show up I mean we're gonna get the cameras rolling that's yeah. number one that's yeah. priority we've discussed that on a lot of shoots where it's like if it comes to it like just keep rolling mm-hmm. it's, it really is surprising it's never come up I guess I don't know we in, ha- in Colorado <laughs> too I mean like honestly like even the first set mm-hmm. of videos like you know keep talking and nobody explodes like that live action skit where you guys yes. around. it's like yeah that was <laughs> oh and I don't and a lot of this filters down like I'm in Los Angeles and they're there so we discuss a lot of things but then I also <laughs> see a lot of things <laughs> as they happen and I'm like oh cool Right. You guys, yeah, yeah, somehow. (laughs) That was fine. (laughs) (laughs) So kind of to wrap things up, just to explore a little bit more about you guys, because hopefully you're going to get a lot of exposure and new people are going to come after RTX. You talked about consuming content. What type of content that you don't work with, not RTX or Couch App or anything, what type of stuff do you consume kind of for your own pleasure, like inspiration type thing that's just really something you like to do? Oh, man. I know. It's a tough question. That is a tough question. Um, Netflix. Watch a lot of Netflix. I've been disappointed. They lost a lot of shows. They did lose a lot of shows, yeah. but, I mean, there's a few good ones out there still. That's, like, daily average. But, I mean, there's YouTube, too, though. Yeah. And there's, like, other channels out there that sometimes, you know, you might watch a video and you're like, oh, that was cool. But would it be cooler if they did something like this and you sort of, like, have a conversation and think about it over time? Yeah. But because, like, we've been on around on YouTube for so long at this point, it's sort of like you've seen what's been done and hasn't been done. And so at that point, it's just like, well, what do you, like, what would, do we want to do that would be really fun mm-hmm. and I don't think people have seen before? Yeah, yet you still find stuff on YouTube on your on your show. Yeah. That <laughs> takes that's, you by surprise. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, yeah, we, we find some interesting categories that we think we've, like, oh, we've seen it all by this point, but then we get, like, into uh, different categories. Like, the dark side of YouTube is yes. specifically that. It's just different categories of really weird parts of YouTube that no yeah. one should be looking at. So... <laughs> I don't know. It's just cool. It's cool when, you know, you can mash up things that maybe... Is this leather? Like, it's... <laughs> I don't know. I'm telling you, yeah, there's it's... probably a back way that your guardian can show you. Just yeah, that's yeah. A, yeah. It's pretty nice. Know. We'll have to talk to somebody about this, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I just think in, like, 2016, it's, like, the more influences you can mash up and, and, and come at things from a surprising way or, you know, like, again, like, our whole the whole aesthetic of the channel or whatever is, like, oh, cool, like, we could do this, but also, like, what if what if we did something that was, like, a short film or, like, you know, and it's, like, like I went to film school and these guys have their creative influences. And so just, like, mixing ideas and stirring Why did you compare creative influences to, like, film school? Well, it's just, like, but look, like, so it's, I like... I went to film school. I have a degree. These guys... No, that doesn't haven't. mean anything. No, I That just, just means I the mean, shit that, like... People just take it the wrong way if you present your arguments like that i'm just saying I'm just <laughs> this saying is the least like pretense that. possible all i'm saying is like you know oh i like movies not like oh uh, you know some people love sports some people you know and they would have a channel that's like oh cool like i bet i could do this and make it seem like you know my espn broadcast that i never miss or whatever and so for me i'm watching game of thrones and i'm like oh this like that scene really like gets my gears turning so like how could i how could i bring even like the tiniest little fraction of that to like 
you know, like a let's play or something like you guys doing Dark Souls, like as for me, like that narrative little that the the like, you know, serial episodic opening that does every episode is like, that's a cool extension of that. Like whether or not that's something we, you know, it's a pretentious idea we brought. It's just like that stuff comes out naturally. And that's all I'm saying. It's like I think I think James spends a lot of his time just he comes up with a lot of ideas and it's like he's always like nonstop. You're like regurgitative in that sense, yeah. and like sometimes I just come in and I'm like, I want it to be funny if like something like this happens, and then that gets turned into an idea. Mm -hmm. So it's just like a lot of balance of that, I guess. It yeah. just wherever it comes from, it comes from it's either it's like subconsciously or just from what we've experienced or witnessed. Yeah, definitely. Well, I'm very excited to see what happens in a year. I mean, you're still young, figuring everything out with your channel. Still babies. So, you know, who knows, one year old, you know, your big birthday, maybe something crazy will happen. But definitely, oh, you guys like, can check arrested. them out. Yeah, yeah <laughs> somebody dies. When the cop show up, yes. Um, but check them out at Cow Chop on YouTube. Uh, you guys, thanks so much for sitting down and talking with us. Thanks for, thanks yeah, for having us. Yeah. And thanks for showing us yeah. this couch and all that. So um, so there may be a new Cow Chop couch in the future. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't want to spoil anything, but yeah. oh. just, maybe, maybe. maybe. Yeah. Who knows? We'll save it for now, yeah. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. If you want to see more RTX coverage, check out our channel for the playlist. And be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see all of our other amazing content. Thanks, guys. Thanks.